Matt McCool with Motion VFX, and I'm happy to announce our latest plugin, MJourney. MJourney was one of the more popular Final Cut Pro plugins, and we are happy to finally release it to DaVinci Resolve. It's perfect for travel vlogs, vacation recaps, and all kinds of fun videos. So let's go ahead and take a look inside Resolve. All right, so once you install MJourney, you can find it under the effects library. It's split up over video transitions, titles, and effects. So let's actually start with the transitions. Here you can see we've got 11 different transitions to choose from, and they cover pretty much everything from your, you know, high energy movement type of transitions, things like flips and spins. These are really great for keeping the energy high and your audience engaged. This one actually has these drop zone areas. So if I drag this onto a cut point, maybe we'll make this a little bit longer. You can see we've actually got these two drop zone areas. So the way these work is over here in your inspector, you'll see drop zone controls. And by default, these are set to photo. So all you would do is hit browse and you can choose a photo that will update in the drop zone area. If you wanna add a video, you can actually change this to video mode and you'll see it's actually just copying over the original clip over here. But if you open up the media pool, you can drag in a different clip into this section right here where it says drop zone video. Once you do that, then you see this updates and you can move this around. Maybe we'll add another one on this side. Make sure to hit video. And uh, maybe we could realign this so that these guys kind of look more like they're on the same plane a little bit. So here's what that looks like. And I actually really like this M Journey Transition 11. This one's just a really simple, subtle, but effective transition. It kind of looks like someone's walking past the camera. Okay, so moving on from transitions, let's take a look at some of these titles. So these are split up into four different categories. We've got a couple of these simple line drawing icons here, and all of these animate in and animate out. And they all have some properties that you can customize. Like for example, let me drag this sun with the cloud, even though, even though there's no clouds in this guy, it doesn't really make sense on this clip. You can reposition this however you want and under the cloud and the sun controls, you can choose whether or not you want this to be an outline or if you want it to be a fill. You can move around the uh, individual icons there. So you can get tons of customized looks and you can even combine several of these icons to really create something unique. Right beneath the icons, we also have several of these uh, miscellaneous titles. So we've got a calendar, this looks like this. And uh, you can, of course, move this around. You can adjust the background. You can decide if you don't want a background at all, or you can lower the opacity. And in the text controls, you can type whatever month it is. And then we also have this calendars controls section here. This is really cool because you can actually choose what day you want to highlight. And in addition to that, you can also choose this days selection. Maybe you're gonna go on vacation for a week. You could highlight that week there. Moving on from that, we also have a couple different lists that you can add on top of the footage, like a packing list. This one's really cool because when you add different items, it will automatically put a new check mark next to however many items you have. So you can see if I delete this line, it also deletes the check mark. So that's pretty smart. There's one for flight times, the cities that you're going to visit. You can display your whole trip. There's also this little weather widget. And with this one, you can actually control the temperature, which I think is kind of cool. Under the graphics control here, you can just change the temperature and see how it will <laughs> change the actual thermometer. So that's pretty neat. Okay, moving on from that, we also have these routes. Now these are interesting. So you can see this first one here actually has a full screen drop zone. So what this is really designed for is some sort of screenshot of a map or something. So let me drop this on my timeline and show you how this works. So if you come over here into the inspector, you have final effect and set location. I'm gonna click on set location and then under drop zone, I think I have a picture of a map here and uh, I'm just gonna disable the track beneath. So with this, you can actually come to the start point and choose, you know, like where you want your trip to start. Same thing with the end point. And once you have everything lined up, you can go up here to final effect and it creates this kind of 3D camera move. You can see here, I'm actually getting a little bit of the edges. Easy fix for that. Under the camera controls, I can just zoom in and now we've got this really interesting 3D sort of globe 
effect that kind of outlines the whole trip. And of course, you can also adjust, you know, the angle of your camera position. You could even keyframe these over time if you wanted to. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what other kind of routes we have. So these actually have editable lines. So let me go ahead and drag one of these on. So with this, let's say you want to actually change the shape of this line here. What you can do is come down here and select Fusion Overlay. And then you'll see these on-screen controls. And you can actually take these and kind of just move them around. And it will animate in whatever line that you define for it. Now, some of these use a slightly different method to achieve this. So for example, this one right here, this one's actually built a little bit differently. So there's a minor annoyance with DaVinci Resolve at the moment, but I think Blackmagic is actually working on a way around this. But as of right now, you can see I can still grab a point and kind of move this around. But if I try to grab another point, my original point that I started with is still selected. So what you have to do in this case is just right click in an empty area and that will deselect the point that you have selected and then you would be able to grab an additional point. So in between each change you just need to remember to right click in the empty area and adjust your points. We also have these 24 typography effects, and these are really nice. These are just real simple titles that show, you know, information about your trip. And I actually really like this last one here. This one's interesting. So you can see if I scrub through it, it's showing one word at a time. If you actually drop it on your timeline under the title controls, you can actually type in as many words as you want and just separate them with the enter key and it will automatically animate one word at a time. And finally, we also have a couple of effects, and these are split up into these two different categories. We've got the drop zones and the standard effects. So let me actually start with these regular effects. So we've got things like this blur, which is really great if you want to put something else on screen. Like let me hop back into these titles and maybe I'll add this one. It's just a nice way of separating your typography with your footage. There's also these really cool flares let me go ahead and drop this on there. You can see it adds this realistic looking flare. And in the inspector, we can choose from three different types of lens flares. We can also move them. We can change the color. Tons of possibilities with that. I'm just going to delete that. And then I want to show you these drop zones. Now these are interesting. So if you hover over, you can see like these first three ones, they just kind of put your footage inside of a box. This one has some text on screen that you can edit. But then we have these three that actually combine several pieces of media. So the way these work is you have to kind of define ahead of time which clips you want to use for this. So I'm just going to stack these three clips right on top of each other. And just for simplicity, I'm just going to make them all the same duration, just like that. And then you want to right click and come up to new fusion clip. And that will pretty much just bake all three clips into this fusion clip right here. And then you can grab a drop zone like this that uses multiple pieces of media and drop it on there and it will use those additional clips that we use to create the fusion clip. And in the inspector, of course, we have controls for adjusting the position. Okay, so let's kind of put everything into practice. So I'm gonna come over here and act like I'm starting a new edit and I'm just gonna come up here and open my media pool and uh, let's use this shot right here, it's a guy in an airport. So I'll just choose maybe from here to here. I'm just hitting I and O on the keyboard for the in and out points. And then I'm gonna drag this onto my timeline. Let's zoom in here a bit. And let's cut to this shot of this plane flying over a lake here. So we'll go from here to there. And then let's go with this shot of New York City. So from here to like there. Okay, so I'm going to close my media pool and I'm going to come up to my titles and look at the uh, miscellaneous section here. And I'm just going to drop on this flight times effect here. So we'll put this right on top of our airport shot and we'll trim it to fit the clip there. So it animates on and uh, I'm actually going to turn off the out animation and let's come under the content controls and maybe size this up a bit here. And for this, I think we can actually turn off the drop shadow. And let's go under the typography section here. And I'm gonna use this one right here. 
and again let's turn off the out animation and I'm gonna turn off the drop shadow as well and let's uh, push this over a bit right here and trim this to fit the clip there and then I'm actually gonna zoom in on this plane so that it's not competing with the text there and for this shot let's go with one of these bigger titles like this one drop that right on there and we'll extend it and obviously we need to change this to New York City okay and then we'll go under here and say concrete jungle and uh, we'll just move this up a bit like that yeah and let's go ahead and add a couple of transitions onto here so let's try uh, maybe this one and maybe we'll also put the same one on our title if we actually grab this we can kind of offset it by a couple of frames so that our text kind of starts to move before the shot i think that's a fun way to combine both of these effects and then maybe we need another transition for this one so let's go with number six here and uh, in this case it actually times just right so that whenever this swipes up it looks like it kind of erases the text so i mean if we wanted to we could add the same transition on this and have both of them move up like that but i kind of like it without looks like this shot is kind of pushing the uh, new zealand title out of the way so as you can probably tell by now m journey has everything you need to create fun videos that will engage your audience so be sure to check it out using the link below thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video